Hypergraph is the plotting and data analysis application specifically for engineering. Despite being an engineering application, the user interface is very similar to PC applications, which minimizes any learning curves. Hypergraph is an integral component of the HyperWorks desktop engineering frameworks for product design. Also included in the HyperWorks desktop are HyperView for viewing 3D computer simulations and MediaView for viewing, comparing, and correlating real-world test videos with computer simulations. Because these separate engineering applications are in a common environment, they are able to share data and communicate information. For example, sample rates and timing information are shared so all windows animate synchronously. And because all the applications share timing information, you can click on a point of interest in the hypergraph plotting window to see the corresponding frame in its simulation and video windows. Even though a hypergraph can be used with other engineering applications, oftentimes it is used on its own. Loading curve data in a hypergraph cannot be easier. Curves from files are loaded using the Build Plots panel on the toolbar. The Build Plots panel contains the standard file browser for selecting the files. In the file browser, just select any file you wish to plot and click Open. Hypergraph will automatically determine the file type and populate the contents of the file in three levels, a type, request, and component. Select which data you wish to plot in the Build Plots panel. All labels dynamically come from the file's contents so you know exactly what will be plotted. Click Apply and all selected data is plotted as curves. Hypergraph supports a wide variety of file formats, including all major finite element formats, binary data acquisition files, and generic delimited text files. After a plot is created, it's possible to overlay more curves from the same source or other sources of data. Any number of curves are supported in a single window, but placing too many curves in a single window makes it hard to read. So the Build Plots panel provides layouts for organizing curves across multiple windows and pages. Here I'm requesting a new plot window for each item selected in the request list. Each created page will consist of two plot windows. You can see I have four requests selected, which will create four plot windows. When I click Apply, four plot windows are created across two pages. The access labels, window titles, and curve names are automatically defined to make it very easy to tell what you're looking at. What makes Hypergraph so easy to learn and use is its point-and-click interface. Clicking on an axis brings up the docked user interface for changing the axis properties. The axis interface can also be accessed by clicking on its icon on the toolbar. Clicking on the plot title brings up the docked user interface for changing the plot header. Now that you've seen how to plot curves in Hypergraph, I'm going to load a session file which has several plot windows already defined. Hypergraph heavily uses context menus to quickly access functionality and common tasks. For example, here I will create a new datum reference line. Set the line's label and position, which can be a value or math expression. The session browser shows all curves, windows, and pages in the current session. You can select one, several, or all curves and perform the same operation on the entire selection, like creating notes at max points. In Hypergraph, all pull-down menus and context menus are customizable. The vehicle safety tools provided with Hypergraph provide a free, customized environment for occupant safety analysis. The set of vehicle safety tools is loaded by selecting the Vehicle Safety Tools in the File menu. When the additional preferences are loaded, new pull-down menus appear. And additional context menus are available specifically for this type of data analysis. For example, creating notes of the 3ms clip value. And now for the other chest acceleration curve. This custom injury menu loads user interfaces for streamlining common tasks. For example, 
creating a curve representing the 3 millisecond window. A single curve or multiple curves can be selected at one time. Clicking Apply will now create a 3 millisecond window. I will quickly use the Curve Attributes panel on the toolbar to make the created curves easier to see. Online help for any panel can be easily accessed by hitting the F1 key. Hypergraph's online help also contains the more than 100 built-in math functions. As you can see, it's very quick to build a large session that analyzes a set of data. But these are not steps you wish to go through every time. This is why Hypergraph provides report template scripts to automate the process. First, I'm going to load the completed session. The session contains 15 pages of data with dynamic notes and reference lines. After the analysis session is defined using the common graphical user interface, defining the report template script is just a matter of saving the session. Instead of saving the session as a session file, it can be saved as a report template script. After it's saved, it can be run in the Reports panel. All the files used to build the original session are listed in the panel as script parameters. To rerun the analysis on a new set of data, just select the new data file. You can overlay the new analysis, or append it to the current session, or replace the current curves with the new curves. When ready, click Apply to run the script on the new set of data and the new curves are overlaid on top of the existing curves. All notes are dynamically updated based on the new curve data. Select another set of data. And click Apply again to overlay the new analysis for comparison. Layers allow you to turn on and off sets of data. You can compare the first run, or just view the original curves, or compare the second set, or even restore the view of comparing all layers. Report template scripts are easily customized for adding additional parameters. This script has parameters for including a run identifier plus changing a calculation in the session. I'll use run2 as the run identifier and change the calculation to use 180 instead of 60. Click apply and the generated curve names have the run identifier to designate where the data came from. Now that we have a session built analyzing and comparing multiple sets of data, it's time to share it with colleagues or the customer. For an example of sharing data, I'm going to load a new example file. This session is from a design of experiments analysis showing the nominal run and three other runs of interest. For sharing information, every window and page can be saved as static image captures or the entire session can be published to an HTML page or PowerPoint presentation. The HyperWorks desktop uses HTML and XML files for PowerPoint, which can be saved from any machine, even when the machine doesn't have PowerPoint installed. Every window in the session can be represented as different file types in PowerPoint. I will save the first 3D simulation window as a Hyper3D file instead of a two-dimensional image. Clicking Publish will now save the PowerPoint HTML file. When the HTML file is loaded in PowerPoint, you can see it is exactly the same as the session in the HyperWorks desktop. Each slide represents what was a page in the session. And if you remember, the animation window was saved as an H3D file. The free H3D plugin for PowerPoint allows rotations, panning, and playing the animation in 3D space. The plugin can be downloaded for free from Altair.com. H3D files not only allow 3D viewing, but they are also much smaller than AVI files, usually a few K up to a couple megs. And if you remember, we set the other pages to use PNG files. These are just static images. 
For more information on Hypergraph, including a request for a live demo, please visit alterhyperworks.com.